Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. Recently, I got a request from one of my subscribers to help her with the ideas of handling students with attention-seeking behavior in the classroom. So here I am with the video. But before I start, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, follow me on Instagram. Now. What is basically attention seeking behavior? Attention seeking behavior involves any behavior in the classroom that a child exhibits to get a response from another student or an adult. This behavior can be both positive and negative. However, negative attention seeking behaviors can become really difficult to deal with in a classroom setting. Here are a few examples of what you might see. Making noises during the class, bullying others, talking out of turn or blurting things out, constantly getting out of their seat in the middle of the class, raising their hand excessively. There are a few strategies you can use to get control over these behaviors. But the best thing and the basic thing you can do is to ignore them. They are trying to get your attention, so do not give what they want and do not reinforce their behavior. Another proactive strategy is providing rewards for successfully doing the right thing and not engaging in attention seeking behavior. For example, using if you will do this, then you will get the reward. Using if and then statements can be really powerful for students to get something done when they know they have a reward coming up. However, there is another way to go about the same thing. If you notice one student doing the right thing while another student is exhibiting attention seeking behavior, giving positive reinforcement to the student doing the right thing can remind the other one how they should behave. It is also taking attention away from the attention seeker so they aren't getting what they want. After this, when the attention seeking misbehavior ceases, give the student attention. Maintain frequent interactions with the student when he is not misbehaving. Be normal with that child. It is essential to provide at least three times more attention to the positive behavior than to the negative behavior. They will self-realize their mistake. Monitor the student's behavior to determine whether he is making progress. This is really important. At least once a week, count the frequency or record the duration of this behavior. This will help you to understand the exact nature of the child. And what are the things that are provoking him or her to misbehave. With these strategies, you will definitely see the difference. Try these strategies and do let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and follow Mystical Aura by Parul Chafikar. Aspire to inspire.